Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers, it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi guys, so I have another haul for you today. I am using natural lighting today, so let's see if that makes a difference in the quality of the video. And also, maybe it will reduce the glare because I have a lot of glossy kits here to show you and some foiled washi. So surprise, it's not just kits from here on out. I did get a surprise order of washi that I had forgotten about that just came. So I am gonna start with that and then we'll dig into some of these kits. I think I have three, four, five technically orders here. So I'll start with the washi. This is from Paper Geek Co. She had a, what was it, a Cyber Monday sale? Or was it actually Black Friday? I don't know. I think this was like the first order that I placed um, on Black Friday, I think. And I wasn't intending to, but I hadn't looked at her site in a while and she had like released some washi that I hadn't picked up. Um, she does like really pretty designs and she's known for her like mountain landscapes like these two. I do have a few already. They always sell out real fast. So the ones I got were the ones that were left after everybody had kind of taken their pick. Um, but that's fine because I already have a few really pretty ones and I don't need every single one. They're all kind of the same, the mountain landscapes. Um, it's just the color scheme changes a little bit each time. So I think this one is the Magical Aurora Washi Tape. It was a November release. Um, purple, blue, green, ombre. Yep. And it has, I think that's hollow foil in there. So you can kind of see that rainbow there in the light. So that is really pretty. I love the stars in the sky. I use these decorative tapes pretty much for Happy Mail. Um, although, you know, if I do more Aurora spreads, which I might, I think I have one or two kits I could use, um, then I will pull, it, pull in like washi like that. And this one is, I believe this is the Autumn Shimmer Mountain Landscape in Warm Orange. This was an October release. So it's a different type of mountain landscape. This is kind of different from this, which is what she usually does, um, where it's more like outlined in foil, which is actually really cool. I love the orange color scheme. And we have some moon phases in whatever foil that is too. I think it's gold foil. And yeah, we get the sun. I think that's the sun outlined there. Sun and the moon, huh, interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's the sun. There's a lot going on here in the sky. But anyways, that's just another mountainscape. And that's funny because that one says mountain landscape, but the Aurora one says mountainscape. Kind of the same thing though, right? Um, and this one is super pretty. So this is Winter in Amsterdam. This was a November release. Of course, I had to pick this up. Any like wintertime city washi I absolutely love. So I've gotten a couple from Simply Gilded. But when I saw this one from Paper Geek Co., I absolutely needed it. Amsterdam is already a very gorgeous city. Really aesthetically pleasing. Love these bright colors of the buildings. So when you put it on a washi with some snowflakes in front that are silver foiled, it looks like it's just even more breathtaking. So I just love this scene right here. That'll make a great washi tape to seal some like holiday happy mail or thank you notes stuff like that and then we have the castles so we have the summertime castle in sky blue background right here and gold foil 
I just love castles, so obviously I had to get this for no real reason other than I just like that it's a castle. So that one's gorgeous, and then this one is the winter castle with green foil. I did not stop to think about how weird green foil would look, and it does look super weird in real life. I don't know if I like this that much. I love the color green, but like here in this instance, it looks kind of weird. Um, and I guess the sky is dark purple in the background, but it looks just black, honestly. It's like black and green. This is like a Halloween tape. Like, I don't even know. Maybe I'll use it in October. Like, I don't know. It's weird. But that's the winter one. And then this last one is the Egypt landscape. I love this as well. As you know, I love the Simply Gilded Passport washi tapes, which are all like locations like this. I don't know if she's done Egypt. Yeah, I, did, I really can't remember. But either way, I have this one at least from Paper Geek Co. We got the pyramids, camels, sphinx, and some buildings there as well. Some palm trees, birds in the sky, and the sun. Oh, and a balloon, just for fun, I guess. So that is gorgeous as well. It's a pretty detailed tape. Those images, you can see there's a lot of layers going on there. So that's really pretty. And I do have a washi stand that is, like, travel-themed from some little things. Um, and so I do like to put these type of, you know, destination washi tapes on there. But it only holds, like, six. So I might just switch them out every now and then just to keep it exciting. But, um, yep. So that is it from Paper Geek Co. Here is the business card that I forgot to do first. Hmm, Joey, I guess is the shop owner's name. Alright, so now we can get into more kits. What shall we start with? Let's just start with the smaller orders, which are technically just one kit. So, I mentioned in my prayer planner haul, like probably a couple of hauls ago now, maybe a few, um, that she forgot this kit, which was the reason that I placed the order, and so I just messaged her and she quickly sent it out and it very quickly arrived to me so props for that extremely prompt customer service so I'm very happy about that and yeah this was the football season kit I just really wanted this art in the traditional like green color scheme because when this is a uh, Elaine from Coffee Doodles Co art whenever she releases uh, sets in two color schemes usually most people go with the one that I don't like <laughs> so I have to really hunt around for like the more traditional one um so I think there were a few shops that had released it but I did ultimately like the whole kit from the Prairie Planner the best um with the whole setup I think you could choose your skin tone hair color so I just chose the ones that are most representative of me and my boyfriend um and then we have clothing flat lay here, a food flat lay there, which looks super yummy, um, some more food, and I think that's popcorn in the little football container, which is really funny. This box really confuses me because it is the grill, but like, I can understand why she would put it sideways so you could show more of it, but it looks way out of place. <laughs> like, if I was going to use it, I would literally just use it sideways, <laughs> like, I, I would have to come up with an instance where I could do that because it just looks so weird vertical. Um, I think we have another food flat lay here with some hot dogs and a football. Got your, of course, number one foam finger. And then a double box scene here of um, just like the living room interior watching football on the TV. I like that rug. That's so funny. This is like a whole football themed room. It's hilarious. If my boyfriend tried to do that, I would put my foot down on it. <laughs> he does like football. Um, I pretty much only got this kit because the men in my life enjoy football, and I think the Super Bowl next year is here in California, so I'm probably going to have to use a football kit for that week. Um, I don't know whether my boyfriend's team is going to make it or not, but either way, I'm sure he's going to be watching it, so there is that. That's pretty much the only reason I buy football kits. I have like a few by now, actually. All right, so the rest of the format for the Prairie Planner, we get a whole page of boxes, which I'm obsessed with. Nine full or nine half boxes is a good amount. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's like 18 quarter boxes, which is also a really good amount. Um, love those date covers. Got some functional stuff up there, sidebar stuff. And then 
um, bottom washi. That would be pretty good for cutting in half. We've got some icons that match the kit on this page. I actually love that because they're the style of icons that I like to use. We've got the, a teeny tiny amount of deco down there. Giant weekend banner. Pretty good size movie marquee. Love this page of little things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 27. Ooh, that's a good number. I will take that. And glitter hatters included. Squares. More types of boxes and washi. What is it? Ooh. I literally forgot. Um... But she said she would include an extra sheet, and she did. So here we have, like, the fall um, multicolor of weekend banners. So that's gorgeous. I don't really typically need extra weekend banners. I already have a hard time enough deciding between whether to use the one in the kit or washi. But there are some kits where I just don't like the style of weekend banner. So I could sub in these if I need to. And then three heart checklists as well. These I also don't reach for that much, but I need to start incorporating them into my sidebars more. Because sometimes I do like to mark happy mail that I get, and the heart checklists are what I use that for. So that's very sweet of her to include two extra sheets for just um, forgetting to include this in the original order. And then the freebie is the November freebie with a bunch of winter icons. I don't think I got this one before. So that's very nice to get all of those. So thank you so much, Stacy. I really appreciate that. And while we are on the subject of this kit, I actually did purchase full boxes from another shop because, like I said, there are only a few shops that did these traditional color scheme boxes. And I kind of wanted to do a mix and match thing. I don't do it so much anymore, but I there were more like double box scenes, I think, in the set that I wanted. So I think I bought them from this other shop. Um, which is legally planning. I literally just bought this one sheet. Like, I looked through her whole shop and there wasn't anything else that I really needed. So I literally just purchased one sheet of full boxes from, like, and she, her shop's in the UK. So I feel kind of bad about that. But um, that's really all that I wanted. So this is legally planning, business card, and journaling card, which is this gorgeous, like, fall fairy tale kind of art. I think I have a kit with that art. Here's the freebie, the October freebie. So we get some, um, some of those like really pastel doodles. I feel like I've seen those in a few shops, but I don't quite know who the artist is. Um, but yeah, these doodles are pretty popular. The, the lack of like black outlines is what kind of weirds me out about these, which is why I haven't bought them from anybody. Like they're, the outlines are too light, but I can understand that that could be a vibe. Alrighty, so, um, this is also in premium matte, thank goodness, that they are both kind of the same, and they are also, like, the printing is the same too, because frequently when I mix and match, the color quality is different between the two shops, um, papers, so it sometimes does look a little bit weird, but thankfully this looks like the same quality paper, same quality printing. So, yeah, um, actually this had a lot that I wanted. I really wanted that fashion girl, and I really wanted that girl with the hair, with the pretty braids. I needed that. Um, and then I also needed this double box scene with the car and, like, the little tailgating thing outside of that. So I wanted both of these. So I had to pick that up. Um, and then there's just some extra stuff in here. Like, I think the ready, set, eat thing is not included. The clothing flat lay is basically kind of the same. And yeah, all the food stuff. So yeah, I'll just kind of mix and match and take what I want. But I, I really wanted those four boxes. So, um, but I like these two as well. So I'm just, I'm gonna just gonna use a ton of full boxes with this kit. But yep, that is my little mix and match idea for those two shops. And now let's see what else we can get into. Okay, so next let's get into BNR paper crafts. This was just a teeny tiny Black Friday order. Um, there was only a few kits that had come out since my last order that I wanted to pick up, but I just decided, you know, why not do it now? Um, poor Beatriz, she is going through a lot right now. Um, I feel so bad for her, and I hope everything gets better for her soon. Um, so I am keeping her in my thoughts, and hopefully um, all the orders that she got for Black Friday are helping support her in this rough time. But I am very grateful for getting this order out to me in a reasonable amount of time. I think this is a freebie here. 
this gorgeous turquoise foil on pink paper. Very pretty. And then I had wanted to order this um, clip for a long time. It looks like there's two on here. That's a fun surprise. I don't think I knew this when I ordered it, or maybe this is like a surprise freebie or something, but... Is that a butterfly? I think that's a butterfly. So that's pretty. There's a little clip on there as well, but I wanted this bow planner clip. Um, I like putting these bows on top of my juniper plushes from Simply Gilded. I don't. That's the only reason I buy them. <laughs> Let me get my other one for you. This is my standard juniper who has the pink one. I think I got this pink one as like a freebie or something. And then I was like, oh, that's pretty. And that looks really cute on juniper. I don't know why, but it looks adorable. So I keep her like that pretty much most of the time. I have like, what, four or five junipers now. I have a lot. Um, so this one I got for the one that has like the red dress. I should have gotten that one out. I think that's the one that I actually lost. It's somewhere in my room. I know it is. I just have them scattered around in random places, and I think that's the one that I just can't find, but that's the one that this one, that this bow is supposed to go with, so maybe I'll find that at some point, but yeah, this has been on my wish list for a long time. And now for the actual kits. So we have one, two, three, four. So not too, too many, but the ones that I got, I'm really happy about. So this one is fall time two. I'm assuming there was a fall time one that I probably did not purchase because photo kits, I'm a little bit picky about. They have to be both the right theme and the right set of photos that have the colors all matching. I really like this one, how bright, uh, vibrant it is. Bright, vibrant, what have you. I really like that. This like fall foliage. It's just gorgeous, and I really want to live in a place that has colors like this. Like, the vibrancy was, like, turned up to 11 on this. But, yeah, the photos are really good quality. Paper's really nice, glossy quality. Cutting is good. Just super pretty. Just some fun outdoor scenes and some waterfalls. Bridges, little farmhouse out there. Just gorgeous. And then... Um, also, the one thing about her full box is I think they're still, like, non-standard size. Like, I think they don't quite fit um, the planners the way the rest of them do from other kits or from other shops. But still, I'm still buying them. I'll, I'll live with it because they still look gorgeous. I think they're just, like, slightly too tall and not wide, not quite wide enough. Um, oh, look at this bottom washi. That is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. That is fantastic that's like that but like wider <laughs> I love that and then this is just another washi strip date covers little tiny labels down there really skinny labels here we have our box or our page of boxes and labels of various sizes and then three heart checklists some icons on there one solitary habit tracker. I think there's another one hidden somewhere else in this kit. Our page of checklist boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven lines on there. That's pretty unusual. We do get extra full boxes, which I love. So most shops that do nine full boxes, I feel like don't add some later in the kit. Or if they do, it's just like one. But she adds four. So I really love that. These are a slightly different color scheme, but I don't care. I'm going to do them anyway. I love these arches. This is like a, a park bench on a walkway kind of situation. I think that's another bridge. And then this gorgeous fireplace scene. So it's like the one indoor scene in the whole kit. But I love that. There's our other habit tracker. We get date dots and the sidebar tracker that I love. And the giant movie marquee. I love that there's nothing in it and it's still really big. Glitter headers included. And some little things, not that many, but some. And then you get a whole bunch more headers, washi strips, and labels. So yeah, she does not include deco, but again, most shops that do photo kits do not include deco. So that is A-OK. -okay. Very gorgeous kit, very gorgeous set of photos. Um, so then next we'll do ice. I do love her like very monochrome kind of kits too. Like she'll frequently choose like one color and do like a study on that color. 
Um, oh, I'm just absolutely destroying this sticky cello. I usually put these in different cellos, though. I, I don't usually keep them because they all have the sticker on them, and it just doesn't ever quite go back properly. Um, but yeah, this one is not quite one color, but it's it's pretty like white and blue themed, so it's very subtle. But yeah, these types of kits look really good with foil, like silver foil would look great with this. Um, and then they photograph really well too. So I love these types of kits. I think I used, which one did I use? I think it was like the wolf one that night, like howling at the moon kind of situation. But yeah, that looked really good. So now I'm like all about these types of landscapey, almost monochrome kits. So yeah, this is just some icebergs, ice plains. One thing I noticed is that there's no animals in this kit. Like you could sneak in at least one polar bear, right? <laughs> that would blend in pretty well. But yeah, no, it's just gorgeous icy landscapes. Ooh, I love these icy mountains for the bottom washi. And I'll briefly flip through the rest of it since I already went over the format. Oh, here's our- oh, there we go. There's some animals. I mean penguins, but I'll take it. <laughs> but for the extra full boxes. Got some penguins doing their little penguin walk, diving into the water. And there's our Her Weekend banner as well. I didn't point that out before. But it's very teeny tiny and subtle. And that is the ice kit. And the next we have lemon. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I like yellowy kits for whatever reason, whether it's honey themed, like honeybee themed, or sunflower themed, or lemon themed. I have a bunch of kits from all three of those themes. Well, I don't have that many lemon kits. I have like maybe one or two. I don't have that many bee themed kits either. But absolutely had to pick up this one because it's just so gorgeous. These photos are so perfect. I do like lemon flavored things. I love lemon desserts. Apple and lemon flavored desserts are my favorite. But yeah, just some gorgeous art there. Got some lemonade as well. You know, that's really pretty for the bottom washi. Let's flip through the rest. Got some blues in there. I feel like green would probably have been the better choice considering there's green in the actual full boxes. Not really blue. But that's alright. I will allow it. And then our extra full boxes here. And some more gorgeous lemon images. Oh, that's a different format. I haven't even been looking, but clearly it's a different format. Let me start over. How did I just realize that? Probably because that page is still the same and that page is still the same. This page is new. So this is an addition. So this is like the glitter page and then this is the same page without glitter, essentially. So that's kind of nice for a more subtle effect. And then this one, she added some more trackers. Put both um, habit trackers on the same page, which is funny. And this page is just all icons now. And then our little things are now blank. They don't have icons on them. And we have some blank ones right here that are just color strips and some squares that's nice looks like this one got a little bent but i don't really care um what is this even more full boxes no these are washi no they are not washi so these are just additional full boxes no they are the same boxes though i feel like these are maybe like meant to be cut up into washi strips Oh, well, that's fine. I guess I can just do that part myself. And then um, glitter headers. Interesting. Very interesting choices. I'm trying to figure out what's missing. I don't can't think of anything off the top of my head if anything was like taken out that I don't know. But I guess this is like the very newest format. I think this one might still be the old one though. So the last kit I have is Captain Hook. I did like this vibe because we have we're getting more Tinkerbell art. I feel like nowadays, or at least. We've had some, but not a lot of other, like, Peter Pan art. There's not a ton out there, 
but yeah, one thing that Beatriz does really well is um, she does a ton of kits for Disney characters, um, especially ones that are lesser known too. So like the villains get their own kits and Captain Hook gets his own kit. So I love, I love all this. I love the dark color scheme with the reds, dark reds in there. And there's our little alligator eye because of course. That compass is, I think, the one from Pirates of the Caribbean, which is hilarious, but I mean, she might have even used that in the Pirates of the Caribbean kit, because I'm pretty sure I have one from her. Anyways, there's that, and then some rope, the ship coming through the clouds, that's really cool. Captain Hook, of course, a key, I don't know what that goes to, maybe that chest right there. Um, another compass, <laughs> and then I guess that's the cabin interior on the ship. It's very cool. Oh, and then we get the outside of the ship for the bottom washi. I hope that's like on a full box somewhere because I don't think that's in these full boxes. But yeah, that's very cool. So this is the newest format as well. That's nice. Very nice. Yep, so we do get a full box for the exterior of the ship. I don't know. I think that's just barrels. So there's a, another buried treasure chest. And then this is, I think that's the uh, steering wheel of the ship. There we go. Oh wait, these are new. So maybe the last kit was just a fluke that they were the same boxes, but these extra full boxes are completely new. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's way too many for me to choose from. Well, not that I ever choose, that's the problem, is that I always just want to use every single one. So... Hmm. Might be having to make some choices. I can probably choose between the two buried treasure chests. Um. Hmm. And this one single hook I can probably get rid of because we have that one with the hook over there. I love this open treasure chest though. So that would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I feel like I've probably used 17 full boxes in a kit before. I know I've used 16. Um, in a spread rather. But if we get rid of these two, then that's like 15. I would probably get rid of that one too because we have a compass here and I know that's like the Pirates of the Caribbean compass. So if we get rid of those three, then that's down to 14, which is much more doable, I feel like. So I might make those decisions. But either way, it's nice of her to give us so many options for full boxes. I love the more, the merrier. All right, so that is BNR Paper Crafts. Please go support her, especially right now. She's got some amazing photo kits, and she's going to be redoing her inventory in January, I think. So a lot of the kits that you might have your eye on now might be gone forever. All right, so next, I think... These other two shops have about the same number of kits, so I'm just going to grab one. This is Pink Leaf Prints. Looks like she packages her kits all at once, which is probably better because I don't need more cellos. I already have, I already reuse all my cellos. Um, but yeah, there were, there were a few here that I need to pick up too. This was another Black Friday order that I wasn't really like planning on making necessarily, but I did anyway. So four kits. Um, this is the freebie. I have gotten this freebie before, I think last year. I think that's like some kind of code probably in there. The fun little elf quote on there. And yep, so let's just get into them. We'll start with the Rogue Premium Matte Kit. <laughs> so this is just like the movie watching kit. I feel like she did like a generic one or a Halloween one maybe. And then she like wanted to do one for Christmas as well. Kind of the same format, I feel like. So of course I had to pick it up. I just love movie kits in general. Um, so we have some of the best Christmas. I literally forgot about Rudolph. I want to watch that this year too. I'm like, I was trying to compile a list of Christmas movies that I wanted to watch this year without actually like looking at any pre-existing lists. And I forgot about Rudolph, so I'm going to have to add that on. Um... And then Elf, which I did watch already this year, so I did do that. A very funny movie. Um, the Polar Express, which is my favorite 
I put a poll up on Instagram asking whether I should watch it on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. It's definitely more of a Christmas Eve movie, so I think that's when I'll watch it this year. Um, and then that is a Christmas story, right? I think I probably watched that once and was like not that impressed by it. But that is a very highly memed movie. Um, then we have that friggin' elf on the shelf. I hate that too. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Candy canes. That is me with candy canes. I think you can also choose your girl, like your skin tone hair color with these kits too. Um, yep, that's me with two candy canes. Giant bowl of popcorn. That is definitely me with the hot cocoa as well. Not the M&M's though. Not an M&M fan. Got a clothing flat lay. This is my Christmas movie watching shirt. Okay, of course. Jack Sparrow and Zero. Not Wait, did I just say Jack Sparrow? Oh my god. Jeez, I really got parts of the Caribbean on the brain. What is his name? Um, Jack Skellington. Okay, it starts with Jack. Like, I'm okay. <laughs> it's not that egregious of a mistake. Jack S. Like, come on. Anyway, of course we have Jack Skellington on there with the dog Zero. I did just watch that, I think, yesterday? Question mark? I think so. Um, we got the peppermint candy. I do have a giant um, bag of peppermints that I like to put in my mochas every weekend. Um, so I have that, but I don't really do the candle situation. Here's the girl watching Elf on the TV. I think these are like those, um, like Hostess brand Christmas tree treats that they bring out this time of year, I think. And then chips and I guess salsa. I just, I love this art. I think she draws her own art, um, for some of her kits, maybe half of them. But yeah, I love all of that so much. Oh, we get more full boxes. Yes, yes, yes. More movie boxes. Nightmare Before Christmas. I always decide whether I want to make that my Halloween or Christmas movie of the year. Um, I think last year I did it for Christmas. This year I did it for Halloween. And then I was like, wait, I have Nightmare Before Christmas, like actual Christmas themed kits that I want to use. So I did watch it again for Christmas. So I could use that kit. Um, so I actually did it twice this year. So oopsie. Then we have The Grinch. I just watched the 1966 one right before filming this. Home Alone. And then It's a Wonderful Life, I think. I haven't seen that one. And then, of course, our gorgeous manicured nails right there. So we have some more functional stuff on this page. Three habit trackers, which is nice. I don't think I'll be using anything else. Well, I guess I'll have to choose one of these for my dinners in the sidebar. Then we have some scripts and icons on this sheet, along with our movie marquee. I love the movie marquees. And there's our beacon banner as well. Boxes. Love this page. Oh, yes, we get an additional movie box. Let's see what else we got. We got Gremlins, which I have seen. I think it's pretty funny. It's a Wonderful Life, Home Alone, Elf, Rudolph, Nightmare Before Christmas again. The Family Stone. I don't know what that is. And then The Grinch and Polar Express. I don't know what that is. But yep, there's our bottom washi page and date covers. Glitter headers and deco. Another movie marquee. Ooh, that's special. Love that. And then full box checklists. Oh, little things. Yes, so many of those. I do, I do buy the biggest versions of each kit. You can get add-ons as well. Um, so I love to get the double box add-on because she's the only other shop that I know of right now that, well, her and Paper Candy Art, um, that do full, like, double boxes pretty regularly. Oh, and I mean, like, shops other than Glam Planner. So, like, we have these big double boxes that I love to add in whenever they are available. So I will be using this one instead of that box. So that is treat your elf. That's hilarious. Okay. So next we do have another football kit. You know, I already told you my reasoning for buying these. Now I have like way more than I feel like I'll ever use, but <laughs> I just, I just know it's going to be forced upon me at some point. Um, so yep, just various football things over here. Sunday, fun day. Yeah, I do keep forgetting and that Sunday is like when football happens and my boyfriend always like talks about it. I'm like, oh yeah, that was today, huh? Because Sunday is the first day of my work week. So for, and it's like the day where I have the most paperwork to do because I have to close out the following week's paperwork. So that's what I think of when I think of Sunday. But for him, it's Sunday football. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, some more stuff on there. There's our fashion girl. 
You can actually see her face. And of course, our football themed manicure. And let's briefly page through the rest of the kit because I already went over the format. We got our football for our extra full box. I think we got another full box on this one. Nope. Little things. There you go. That is football season. And I think that's, yeah, all of these, except maybe, eh, they might all actually be, um, like, exclusive. I'm not sure. Anyways, this one is Birthday Boy. I was kind of inspired to get this because of my best friend Nessa's haul, because, like, we both are kind of on the lookout for more guy-themed kits for, you know, the guys in our life. And so... She did have, like, birthday girl, I think, and birthday boy. I didn't get the girl one because I already have enough birthday kits, um, I feel like, for, you know, women, but not enough for guys, so I definitely needed to pick up this one. So we have some birthday cards right here. Cheers to years. I guess you could put the number there of, like, how many years, like, what the year of the birthday is, so that's kind of a fun idea. Um, balloons, birthday gift bag, cupcakes, presents, a cake with a mustache and bow tie because why not? And then I think that's like your birthday Facebook feed. That's so funny. So Jamie is, I think, the shop owner. And so these might be like her friends. That's fun. And then um, we get our fashion girls over here. <laughs> that's so fun and let's just go through everything else oh, there's our cake with a happy birthday banner there I would probably use that one instead of that one because it's kind of the same thing and then actually I don't need to because I already got that as a double box scene it definitely makes a much better double box scene or not double box scene sorry just, just double box Definitely makes a better double box than full box. So there we go. And that is Birthday Boy. And then, oh dear, I have been remiss in my double boxes because I forgot that I got this one for um, football season. So let's see if this replaces one. I think. Mm. No. I think it's unique enough that I can use this along with all the other ones, right? Let me just check what this extra box was. Yeah. Yep. I can just add this one on. Okay, so lastly we have Merry Christmas. This is like a more religious themed Christmas kit, which I do try to pick up when I see them. Because um, I just think it's a nice homage to the origins of the holiday and uh, my boyfriend's family are very, very Catholic. so. We are kind of church people a little bit, um, I ideally, idealistically. So, yep, yeah, we got a fun little advent calendar there. I still need to get one for next year. Um, I think that's a book, a couple book scenes right there, nativity story. I love this exterior of the church, gingerbread nativity scene, which I love, um, a Merry Christmas ornament. I feel like this art was also used for, like, Easter. I feel like I have an Easter version with, like, that same church exterior. I'm pretty sure I do. And then, yeah, we got our manicure, of course. And another book reading box for the extra full boxes. Scripts, icons, labels. And... A little notebook with a quote for our extra full box there. Ooh, this deco is pretty big. Glitter headers, check boxes, and little things. It's actually a lot of little things. I like that a lot. And then a double box scene is just the church bigger. So obviously I'm going to use that one instead of that one. And that is Merry Christmas. And that is everything from Pink Leaf Prints. So definitely keep an eye out on her like exclusive kits with her hand drawn art because there's some there's some gems in there for sure. Alrighty, so lastly, at least for the segments, 
we're going to get into whimsical plans and these are all Christmas kits from uh, with art from Elaine from Coffee Doodles Co with the traditional color scheme that nobody else used pretty much so all three of these sets that came out I was like hoping that somebody I knew would use the traditional color scheme and thankfully one of my top favorite kit shops did. So if Score Prince Color doesn't do what I want, basically I, I immediately run over to Whimsical Plans and see if she's going to do it. So here we have the Christmas Party. I think she did two versions because this one says bright. So this is the one with the color scheme that I wanted. I love that fashion girl right there with the white hair. I'm all about that. And then that one is more more me colored. I love this yellow box scene of the like dining room table setting. We have some like festive drinks going on here. Peppermint some flavoring, I think. Peppermint flavoring and the gingerbread creamer. That looks pretty delicious. Got a food flatly here. Looks like Christmas cookies. A cake with reindeer antlers. I love that outfit by the way. That is gorgeous. I love red and white. And then this is a table setting as well. Some presents with bells on them. It's super cute. This is very, very much a Christmas party situation. Not that I have ever really attended any, but I would like to. Um, it's a lot of nice tiny deco. I love that. Two movie, two movie marquees. That's very special because I do use a lot per week. Got some squares extra full boxes are the uh, Christmas sweater clothing flat lay and then like a hot chocolate situation super fun boxes labels um, I think we have the double scenario here nope I was gonna say I thought there would be like a solid color page of these I guess that's just this um, but yeah our little things are all just solid color and there's not that many of them. There's only 16, which is not a ton. But I can just pull from my collection. Love these patterns going on. Glitter headers. Some functional stuff. Her format mirrors um, Square Prince Co. kind of a lot. In a lot of ways. So that's why she's like my number two shop. More boxes. I love that there's more. Oh, and then we get our, our couples for the like add-on page. I do get the full version of this kit too, so it comes with it, but I think you can buy this page as like an add-on. Uh-oh, that's that's a bit of an oopsie for the 15mm strip. But it's a Christmas kit, so I'm probably going to be able to pull in some washi, so I don't actually need to use this strip, but that's not super great. Um, But yeah, we get some fun couple combos here. I like all of them. None of them are specifically like me and my boyfriend, but um, they're cute. I'll just pick one. And yep, here's our bottom washi and our pattern full box that would be great for a quote and uh, day covers as well. So that is Christmas Party Bright. And then next we have Merry Kingdom. So this is the like Magic Kingdom Christmas version. There's always a Magic Kingdom Christmas kit that comes out every single year, I feel like. It's a very popular concept. So this one is like kind of a little bit of a muted color scheme, I feel like. It's not quite as bright and traditional, so like a lot more browns. But I still like it a lot. Of, of course, the double box scene there with the castle and the Christmas trees are along Main Street. Got our two fashion girls here. I love this girl's hair. That's like literally what my hair looks like when it dries. It's like that exact length and does poof out quite a bit. It's not quite an afro, but it does look just like that. Of course, I never wear it down, so nobody ever sees that, but that's how it would look. Um, and we got some magic bands here, we got our drinks, some flat lays up here, we got our food flat lay over here, that looks delicious. And then just random paraphernalia. And then, of course, our Disney backpack over here. Some really cute outfits going on. Deco and everything. 
Yes, of course we get. I think that's the people mover, right? Whatever the heck that is. I don't know. I haven't been to Disney in, in so, so long, but that's our double box scene over here. That's also frequently included in Disney art sets these days. This page and this page. I like those beacon banners. Again, very similar to Squirrel Prince Co. Boxes and then some more fashion girls down here. So hard to choose. And then bottom washi. It's very like paint swatchy patterns going on. And lastly, we have wish list. I like the other color scheme, and a lot of people use the other color scheme, but I am traditional colors at heart. I also put up a poll on Instagram, and most of y'all also are uh, prefer the traditional Christmas color scheme as opposed to like super bright colors. So this one is like like very desaturated, though. I feel like like these reds are like very desaturated as opposed to what I would expect. But I still kind of like it. I can get I can get behind this. So yeah, this is just like a generic Christmas kit. Sorry, I got interrupted because my boyfriend called. But I just have this one last kit to go over, and I think I might finish up the haul. We will see what the time is. But as I was saying, um, yep, yeah, just kind of a traditional Christmas kit. We got advent calendars, uh, stockings, ornaments going on over here. Got a stack of presents by the tree. Um, what's going on over here? It looks like a watch as a gift. Ooh, macarons. I actually put macarons in my own stocking because, um, they were in my stocking from my parents. And then I just basically brought it back home and then put it in my own stocking here at my house. Because <laughs> I decided to save some sweets for later because I've been eating too many lately. I don't know what these are, though. Maybe some kind of makeup? I guess that says lip, lip gloss, I think. Gotta get my good eyes on for that one, too. Um... Yeah, love this living room scene here. Very classic and traditional. Our two fashion girls right here. Her hair is like very straight. That's insanely straight. Wow. Um, yeah, like I'm definitely not wrong about the desaturation thing. This is very interesting. Love that deco situation. Our two extra full boxes here. Clothing flatly. Lots of plaid going on. That is almost too much plaid. And then a very fancy bag. Don't ask me what brand that is. I do not know these things. Some nice patterns. I do like these glitter headers. They're, it's like very big glitter. I like that chunky glitter. I like both kinds, but it's just fun to see the variation. And then our extra fashion girl down here. I like the white-haired girl, though. I will always go for the white-haired girl. And then plaid bottom washi and plaid patterned full box there. And so that is a wish list. And that is it for Whimsical Plans. Okay guys, so here we are with the last part of the haul. So, I am bringing a new to me shop into play here. I'm very excited about this shop. Um, I discovered it probably kind of just by accident. I must have been just browsing somewhere and came across it or saw it on somebody's Instagram story or something. I don't remember, but I am very excited to be hauling this for y'all because this is like one of my new favorite shops for sure. As you can tell, I went crazy on Black Friday. So she had like a pre-Black Friday sale. And like I had had this particular kit um, in my wish list for uh, like maybe a few weeks up until that point. And so then she had a pre-Black Friday sale and I hauled it. And no, and then she had a plea back. Mm -mm. And then she had a pre-Black Friday sale, and I purchased it. Um, I may have, like, thrown in another kit, or it may just have been that one. But then I remember she did new releases, like, a couple days before actual Black Friday. Um, the previous sale had been, like, a week before. And then she did new releases, and then I was like, oh, I need, I need more stuff. So then I picked up this kit, and I think I, like, threw in a couple more. And then, um, and then she, and then I, like, saw another kit that I needed, um, and I liked it from her the best, and that was this one, and then, um, I don't know why I kept, like, just browsing her site, but I did, and then I kept looking through her whole shop, and there was, like, even more kits that I needed, 
And so she had, like, combined the first two orders for me already, and the third time I was, like, too shy to ask. I put a note in the order notes, but, like, I know it was too late at that point for her to read it, um, because obviously she'd sent out the first one already. So I was just, like, being a dumb butt, but, yeah, so she did send it out in two separate orders, even though it was, like, three orders total, but I went totally crazy, so I'm really hoping that these kids live up to that kind of hype, because I really want this to be like the new best thing ever and I think they will be from what I see on the website so let's go over the freebies first oh yeah this job is apple blossom prints if I did not say that before after that extremely long intro so we got some die cuts this is from the friends collection from Kittenish Girl Jess I am not really a friends fan I've watched maybe a few clips from it my boyfriend likes it but I'm more of a Seinfeld person myself, if I had to pick one. Um, and then we have some shop freebies. This is flat lace. This is that same like art style with the lighter than I would expect outlines. Um, so these are just a bunch of like Christmassy flat lays. And then here are the icons as well. So these are just some like cozy self care kind of icons. So there's those. And now for the actual kits. So how many total do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I definitely purchased more than I ever thought I was going to. Because again, it started with just this one kit. And well, there was a lot of kits that I was going to pass on. Like I just completely was not going to get. And I'll tell you which ones they were. But um... I was just going to pass on them until I saw that these were on such a good sale. And they really were. These were like 11 bucks each or something. So I literally had to buy these. And, um, oh, the reason I placed the third order was actually because that was a 40% off flash sale, I think. Right? I think. So obviously I had to go crazy on that. So, yeah. It's, it's a serious situation. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I was only going to buy one and turn it into eight. Um, I also grabbed the Fashion Girl from Crest Press for this kit because I wanted the tall Fashion Girl that looked the most like me. So I am going to just add this on, but I had to get this or original version because you will see in a second. But this is Thanksgiving. I think this is Sadie Piper art. Everybody is in love with her art these days. For me, it's like hit or miss. Like some sets I like, some sets I don't. This one I probably wasn't going to get until I saw um, this particular version of it. And then I was like, okay, that's enough for me to enjoy. So this is called Thanksgiving. I guess it is a Thanksgiving themed kind of kit. Not that I need more Thanksgiving kits because I already have about, you know, probably about 10, which is ridiculous because I only use one per year. But that's my personal problem. It's just that there are so many good Thanksgiving kits because any kits themed around food are just wonderful. They're all of our favorites. Oh my gosh, the kitty. I didn't even notice the kitty. So yeah, like I said, I don't really look at details of kits until I haul them for y'all. So we're going to discover this together. So we got our fashion girl up there in the corner, get our fashion kitty cat down there behind all the fancy bags from Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Hermes. Double box scene of the Christmas tree, which is prominently displayed. I'm surprised that gets a double box because this is a Thanksgiving kit. <laughs> Clothing flat lay here and Cyber Monday shopping, of course gets us a little spotlight too. Um, and then the SP is for Sadie Piper. I always love when those things are like thrown in there. Uh, I love this um, like baking or cooking box right there. The croissants. I wouldn't expect to see croissants, but there they are. And then it looks like over here we get various forms of like a punch or drinks. And I love that like ceramic pumpkin behind there. I did actually buy some this year. I bought them like way after Thanksgiving. I feel like, um, not way after, I think right after Thanksgiving. So like, it was already time to put away my Thanksgiving stuff and start taking out my Christmas stuff, but they were on really good sale because it was like the clearance section that I saw those pumpkins and I had been like waffling on them for a long time and I wasn't going to get them because um, I didn't really have room, but I caved when I saw that they were only like a dollar, so I got a few and then later I got a bigger one. So next year I'm going to put those out. But anyways, I love ceramic pumpkins, long story short, long story long, yep, and then here's the fashion girl, 
that goes along with that. Mm -hmm, love the curly hair. And let's see this format, because I haven't actually really looked at the format. I've just kind of glanced at it to see it's something that I would use. So we have meals instead of dinners, so that's one change that I'm noticing. Glitter headers are included, which is nice. And our washi there as well, our patterned washi strips. Oh, there we go, ninth full box. This girl, I'm sorry, but the expression on this girl's face cracks me up. What is going on here? She looks like she's trying to be cute and pose, but she also looks like a deer in headlights, which is very funny to me personally. <laughs> I like, think there's no way she doesn't look startled. That's hilarious. Anyway, so I love this. I love these rounded boxes. Love the squares, how we get some solid and some patterned and some like actual clip art squares. That's fun. I love these movie marquees. So they are actually full rectangles. See, normally you would have this, but then there'd be the little bump. That's what Skull Prince Co. does. But these are just the full rectangles. So that is kind of a little bit hilarious, but you know, I'm still going to use them. They're clearly meant to be movie marquees, and that is how we'll use them. We get some appointment labels here. We get two pretty standard looking habit trackers. Tons of flags at the top. I always like to use more flags when there's more flags in the kits. Like, I make a point of it. Skinny little weekend banner down there. Some checklists and sidebar boxes. That's a good amount of deco, I feel like, and it's a good size as well. Get some little things on this page and boxes. This is all solid color. I like the third boxes up there. It's not too many little things though, but thankfully we have this page. So she does do the SPC thing where you get the solid color and then the patterned page with the same boxes and labels. So it's 12 little things doubled is 24. It's kind of on the lower end, but that is okay. I do love the amount of fancy labels that we get. I feel like that is a little bit more what I need because I'm using a ton these days. So that is that. I like these subtle patterns too. And we do get some tall boxes with the kits. I love that she does include these pretty standard in kits. Um, again, that girl's face. However, obviously I will not be using either of these. And I don't really mind because if I wanted to use that girl, which I probably won't because of her face, but if I wanted to use her, I could just use that box. And if, you know, that girl, I'm just going to use that fashion girl right there. And then the tall box, I'm just going to sub in this one. Which actually, that brown coat is like, it doesn't match anything else. So it's kind of weirding me out a little bit and throwing me off. But it's clearly the same collection, so I'll still use it. But then we get some more boxes around here. Even more fancy labels and little things. So that's 26 little things. And more third boxes. That is awesome. The number of boxes you get is insane. And then bottom washi already cut in half. I love this. I love when they do this. So it's, and it's not just like um, a 15 millimeter strip, although I think she does have those as add-ons, but I just like when there's two already cut on the page, so it's not like a full strip that I would have to cut in order to use the 15 millimeter. I can just sub out this one if I want, or I'm just probably going to keep them as is, because why not? I like them both. We've got some nice date covers. These remind me a lot of SPC. And then, of course, um, the kitchen scene for the extra full box over here. I'm in love with that. Mm, yes. House interiors and exteriors, especially kitchen scenes. Oh, they are perfection. I love that. I want that on a double box. And the reason that I bought this kit from the shop was the entire extra page of full boxes. This will get me every time. If you give me more full boxes, I will buy from you. End of story. <laughs> especially a whole extra page. So that is 16 plus 17 if you wanted to use the funny face girl. I don't know where she is. There she is. 17. And then you have the addition of tall boxes as well, two of them. So 17 full boxes, 18 full boxes, including the kitchen, plus two tall boxes. That is an insane number of boxes, and I love it so much. So clearly Sadie included a ton with this collection if we, we were able to get all of this extra. So two of these are duplicates, by the way. They are just alternate skin tones of the, like, Scrabble pieces. But I love fall most of all. So that's fun. I love this pie. That looks like a delicious pie. And then we get the doggy in front of the front door out there. 
I knew that doggy would show up somewhere. Everybody loves the doggy in the kit. Um, and then we have our table setting. And then the double box scene of the table flat lay with all this delicious looking food. That's what gets me. We get a charcuterie board, turkey. I think that's mashed potatoes. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to pretend it's corn pudding because I do love me some corn pudding, green bean casserole, and then sweet potato casserole, which is what I made, and mine looks just like that. So I am in love with that. And then yet another double box scene of just the living room. So that's kind of the same as this, except this one has the Christmas tree in it. So you can kind of choose whether you want to see the rest of the stuff that's on the table or whether you want to actually include the Christmas tree. I'm probably going to do one of those things where um, where you have it like do an extender situation where it pops out and then it turns into the other scene. I don't think I've tried. I feel like I have tried that like once. I think I've done it once. So I'm going to have to look at how I did that. Because I do extenders kind of different. I don't, I don't do like the window ones that pop out. I always do vertical. So I'll have to like figure out how I want to play that. I guess it. I guess it's not that hard. I'll just do what I normally do. But two next to each other. Anyways, so that is what got me interested in the shop in the first place. Was the fact that that particular kit included a whole extra set of full boxes. And I was like, wait a minute. If this is the kind of stuff that she provides in her shop, I need to check out the rest of it. I think this is the only kit that actually did that, or there might be one more in here, but um, either way, I needed it, and that was like the only way I was going to buy that collection too, that art set, but I'm glad I did. So then um, I started looking at her shop as like an alternative for um, lesser kits, not like lesser as in like bad, but like kits that I might not necessarily buy otherwise um, if they weren't, you know, 11 bucks or whatever. And, um, these two are, like, Coffee Doodles Co. sets that I probably would have bought from Whimsical Plans, um, if at all, because they aren't sets that I absolutely 100% needed, so I wouldn't buy them from SPC, and also the color scheme issues, as usual, but, um, obviously I was going to pick them up for the cheaper deal. So this is called Boss. I love this pink color scheme. I'm super into the light pink pastel situation. Um, the fashion girl that was like teased on Instagram was the one that looked the most like me and I'm kind of sad that like nobody seems to really have that one. But at the same time I love the white hair girls always so I'm like not that mad about it. But like that's kind of what I look like right now. Like if you just you know change her skin tone to medium brown and then have black hair. That would be me because I got my hair in a bun. I'm wearing a hoodie and that whole situation. But that's okay. I will accept her because I love the white hair girls. So this is just like a, a girl boss planning situation. I love the boba. I keep forgetting to make boba. You, I think you've heard me in my last haul or the haul before that. I don't know. Talking about making boba, I did actually completely forget even after mentioning it twice in the video. I should do that today. I don't think it's too late. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I will remember. But I love that that's there because that is me to a T. So our fashion girl is just standing on the phone, probably getting some important business calls done. I've got a backpack there. I think that's a wax melter in there. Planners and happy mail and pens. So many pens and kits. So that's nice. What does that say? Page flags. Okay. It's like sticky notes, I think. Got a calendar over here. Keyboard. So many planners and notebooks right here. That's well, actually just two pens and washi over here and a uh, like a wax melt and then backpack and flowers and the double box scene of the office that's such a pretty office I love the whites and light pinks that's so gorgeous I don't know I just got this for the aesthetic not necessarily the theme but like I love pastel pinks and boba <laughs> that's all I need to know and for 11 bucks I mean yes please sign me up so I'm just going to briefly flip through the rest of it because we just went over the format. Got our clothing flat lay. Obviously, every single planner kit has to include a clothing flat lay, I swear. That's the rules. That'll make them up. Um, again, I love this deco. There's like just enough and it's just the right size. So I love that. I accidentally got two pages here. Solid color. I love it because everything is like writable. Nothing too dark to write on. 
very subtle patterns. This is not going to photograph well, I just know it already, but it's going to look gorgeous in my planner anyway. I'll have to like probably use natural, natural lighting to photograph it so I only have to adjust the exposure a little bit because if you do it too much it's going to wash it completely out and that's the problem. Love these uh, tall boxes. Let's make a decision right now if we're going to use one or both. So they're both basically just scenes from this double box scene. So I don't technically have to use any of them. I don't have to, but I probably will use that one. Because this does have elements that have all been already used. Well, yeah, that have all been already used throughout the kit. But not all together, necessarily. So I will probably just use that one just to use a, a, a tall box. Because again, when they're presented, I like to use them. Because they're not in every single kit. Um, and then we have a bed. It's a very nice looking bed. I love that. The wood parts of it, the framework for our extra full box. There's our two washies. It's got some watercolor going on there, which I love. Ooh, nice. We got a whole sheet of Fashion Girls. Was this an add-on that I paid for? I have no idea, but I have it now. Oh, this is cool because you can, it's like a double box scene and you can just kind of customize it. So the feet obviously stay the same and then you can just pick your girl. I, you know, I wish that girl I had a choice on, but it's okay. I'll just use that girl and that box and then alternate skin tone for that one as well. That is awesome. That was probably a freebie, I think. So generous. So, yep. That was Boss. And then next is Love. This is Elaine's um, Valentine's Day set for this year. This upcoming year. Um, I don't have, like, barely any... I have, like, literally one Valentine's Day kit, I think. Which is very sad. So, I don't even think I used one for this past year, 2020. Or the past year that I fully planned um I just yeah I don't even think I used one because I probably didn't even have one I have one that I'm like courting because it's a really nice one but yeah so I didn't have that many so I wanted to pick one up because I like black white and pink I like black white and red more but I like black white and pink enough to where I was gonna get this and I think SPC did it I think Andrea did it but I think she did a different color scheme that was like probably more pink and less black. I don't remember 100%, but I feel like that's what she did. So I just, I needed all the black in it. So there's this, and I think these fashion girls were a freebie because I don't think I would have got them. I usually just use whoever's in the kit. And besides, like that girl's closest to my skin tone hair color. So, but I like the blonde girl. Like I, I think the blonde looks really good with the rest of the kit. So I might just use her instead. Again, I don't typically care about always being true to myself or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just a cute little coffee shop Valentine's Day situation. Like, I'm all about that. Like, sign me up. So I'll be spending my Valentine's Day probably anyway, because, you know, my boyfriend doesn't really care too much about that, and neither do I enough to make a big deal about it. Every day is Valentine's Day when you're in love. <laughs> Anyways, got a typewriter here, a delicious looking drink, maybe that's strawberry drink of some kind. Got our two fashion girls. This one has the French beret. I feel like I probably have one that I may have worn ironically once or twice. And then this girl making the heart hands. And she's got glasses. That's fun. We need more girls with glasses. Cute little crossbody bags, both of them. Double box scene of the exterior of the coffee shop. So sad, but I know that part of the C is going to get lost when you peel this up so sad. I feel like that could have been avoided. Um, then we have a flat lay here with the planner and then some food. Are those waffles? Or are they something made to look like waffles because they look good. I think those are donuts. Um, we've got some like Starbucks drinks here, cupcake bag, books, and then like the interior of the coffee shop. Super cute. I like these hearts on the wall back there. So there is full boxes, and then glitter headers, pattern washi, or extra full boxes of clothing flat lay, because like I said, it ain't a sticker kit if there isn't a clothing flat lay. The shoes are cute. Here is the deco page. 
solid color pattern color. Oh, that's the problem. We got the black little things, so that's going to be hard to rain on unless you got a foiled script. What foil would be good with this? Probably just like a light pink. I'm pretty sure that foil doesn't exist. Should exist. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe silver? That's like the only gold thing in there, so maybe silver. Or light pink. Um... Uh, pattern page. Okay, so we get two additional full boxes here instead of two um, tall boxes. So I probably won't use that one because it's just that. It's like exactly just that. It's, there's nothing unique about it. Um, but I do like these two. So I will probably use the cake with the little waffles. And then this one is just like a little calendar with some chocolates. It's very cute. Yeah, more more clothing. Not clothing. Don't care about the clothing fat lays, but more food fat lays I will always incorporate in. And then, yeah, we get just a more plain look at the interior of the coffee shop there. With all the stuff in front of it. So I might use both of those boxes anyway. And there's our bottom washi. I like how they're so different this time. And it covers. And yep, that is love. Like, I'm not totally wild about it as like a valentine's day kit but it's a cute kit and i might as well because i literally don't have any valentine's day kits except for that one Alrighty, so one of the kits that i actually planned to get let me pull those out first okay so they are yeah so originally i just planned to get these two these are both um silly studio kits this one, I think I wasn't, like, I made the decision not to pick up from Glam Planner, which is where I usually pick up Silly Studio kits, um, because it just was a lot of money for a kit that I wasn't particularly wild about. Now, that's assuming I didn't already buy this. I have no clue. I could already definitely 100% have this in my collection. In fact, now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure I do. But it was, it's either one of those two scenarios. Either I already have it, or... I wasn't completely wild about it. I feel like I already have it though now that I'm looking at it. Oh my goodness. Well, who knows? It's 11 bucks. I'll survive. Um, but yeah, this is Maple Lane. It's like the Silly Studio Fall Art. I like that girl with the hat. I'm gonna bring those hats back. Double box scene of this house with this gorgeous fall foliage. Cute little puppy. Um, record player. A living room, couch, table scenario. Clothing flatly because, of course, those jeans look, like, scarily realistic, like, photorealistic. Like, they look almost out of place. Um, and then hand-holding leaves. I really feel like I already have this. This is weird now. <laughs> That's a problem when you buy too much on Black Friday is that you keep forgetting that you're, have, that you're buying duplicates. Glitter headers. Get our extra box here. What is that supposed to be? It is a clear thing of some kind. Is that a mirror? I don't know. Looks like a window. But I don't think it is. Anyways. Deco. Maybe I'll just use the same kit twice. That's fine. Um, solid color. Patterns. I like these patterns. Get two tall fashion girls. I guess I'd have to pick one. I'd probably just use that girl because her hair matches the kit. Otherwise I would use the tall girl. Yeah, you kind of miss out on the pants and the shoes if you only use that girl, but I'll survive. Um, double bottom washi, and then the doormat. Ooh, bonus page. So this must be just a freebie or something, but we get another double box scene of the um, living room interior. And, like, um, storage system with stuff on it. Another fashion girl, and then a whole bunch of icons, which I never used, but that's kind of fun that she included those. Oh, very nice. So that is Maple Lane that I probably almost definitely already have. And then, oh yeah, the other one was Alpine Lodge, which kind of just came out. I wasn't really going to get this, but again, she had it for like 11 bucks. And like, stuff, like, kits like this remind me of Nessa, who lives in Canada, where it's cold in Quebec. Um, so yeah, like snowy ski lodge kits. Just give me those kind of vibes and I don't know. I kind of 
I kind of like the aesthetic of this one. I don't typically get them, but I made an exception for this one because I like the aesthetic. Of course, it's, you know, drawn very beautifully because it's silly studio art, but, um, and it was, again, it was also like 11 bucks, so I couldn't really say no. Um, I think it must have come with, like, another full box, full page of full boxes. That's probably what got me. We get two double box scenes here, so that is very special already. We get, like, the inside of the ski lodge here and the outside. I don't know for sure if this is a ski lodge. Maybe it's just a house, just like an A-frame house, but, yeah, we get the interior there. More couch and table action. What is that? Is that, like, a beaded necklace? That's weird. Looks like too big. Anyways, pine cone and hands, fire pit. That is so pretty. Look at the background. That landscape is just gorgeously done. More super realistic pine cones over here. How does she even like make these? Like this, that's insane. That's also drawing and not a photo. And then a fashion girl right here, striking a very model like pose. And glitter headers. Oh, it's not a clothing flat lay. That's a miracle. There probably is one later in the kit, though. <laughs> it's just my suspicion. I think those are supposed to be cinnamon rolls. These are, like, super abstract, though. Next to those super realistic gloves. <laughs> and I think that's, like, some kind of hot cocoa. Snow goggles. There's our perfectly sized deco. Solid color patterns. So instead of two tall boxes, we get just alternate fashion girls. Is that like gray hair or blue hair? It's blue gray hair. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. There's that. There's the husky. I did want the husky. I think that was another thing was that like... No, I think every shop used the husky. I don't know. I just wanted the husky. If I was going to get this kit at all, I needed the husky. Because those are my favorite types of dogs aesthetically. Not temperament, but like they look cool. Yep, here we go. Here's our entire extra sheet of full boxes. So we do get more um, outdoor scenes. This one is just like, like just the whole landscape without the A-frame house in there. I like that because you can really see the mountains better. Um, and then the walk scene of like the fire pit chair situation. This girl is so cute right here. I like that curly hair too, but... I think the blonde goes better with the kit. And then some more chair. That's like a super realistic woven basket down there. Um, yep, clothing flat lay. I called it. And then alternate skin tone, I think, of that box. So that's cool. We don't have to necessarily use all the full boxes that, are, that we are presented with. But ah, there you go. There's the tall box. Was this the freebie? I don't know. But yeah, you do get tall boxes of the fashion girls. So I might just do that one instead of her. Or I could do her and then I could do that one. Yeah, I might just do that. So there you go, I guess that makes up for not having tall boxes actually in the kit and having the four fashion girls instead. So yeah, that was probably why I got this one from the shop or at all because there were so many full box options. So that is Alpine Lodge and that is everything that I kind of went into the shop meaning to pick up on purpose. Next we can get into the stuff that I bought kind of on a whim. Well actually one of these is the freebie kit, but two of these things I kind of bought on a whim. So this one is, I'm all booked, and I tend to pick up bookish art when I see it, because reading is like my number one hobby. And I wasn't going to get this if it wasn't like 11 bucks, but it's a really cute color scheme. And yeah, these, these outlines are not super doing it for me. I like really firm outlines, really solid ones, and these are, it's kind of sketchy, um, like that style. But... Still, with this pastel color scheme, like pastel rainbow, it kind of works well enough. And I really like that girl's hairstyle. Like the dark hair with the gold. Like, if my hair did that, I would love to do that to my hair. Okay, let me got a cute little puppy. Where's the cat? There should be a cat if there's a puppy. I'm just saying. I got a e reader over here, which is great. I think it is supposed to be a Kindle. I think it says something else, though. I don't know. But yeah, I have an e reader. 
double box scene of the reading nook. I like a little pumpkin and the clock hidden in the bookcase. Uh, the mug says my weekend is all booked. And then we have a book club themed candle. There's a puppy who's trying to read as well, but probably failing. So yeah, it's just like very light and airy and dreamy. And it's, it's got library stuff in it, so I like that. Ooh, different format. Is this an old format or a new format? I feel like this is probably old format. So we get some headers, some squares. Um, I think these are like, what, are these meant to be the movie marquees? Might be. Might be that. Surrounded halves in there. Two extra full boxes on this page. Another fashion girl. There's the cat. I was going to say, if there's a dog, there better be a cat. And there, there he is. So that's cute. These boxes are a little unusual. They have outlines and the other boxes don't. Um, at least our deco page is the same. Well, not the whole page, but the deco area is the same. And glitter headers are in there. And then we get some various boxes and washi strips. More boxes on this page. Yeah, I think this is probably order format. And then two additional full boxes. So we get 8, 9, 10, and then 11, 12. So that's, that's a nice amount. Just another book flatly. And then a very cozy looking reading chair. Some icons and some scripts in there as well. And yet another 13th full box. Yep. With the, I think that's like socks that say, shh, I'm reading. And then bottom wash, you see that's all in one. So I'm pretty sure this is old format there were a lot of changes that a lot of shops did to switch to the newer format type stuff. But yep, that is I'm All Booked. And then next is the Murder Mystery Kit. I think a lot of people got this from other shops, like SPC. Um, and I wasn't going to pick it up because, like, I'm alright with the Murder Mystery thing. But the color scheme just did not seem murder mystery enough to me. So I just wasn't buying it. I mean, literally wasn't buying it either. But, um, I just wasn't too sure. I like the color scheme and I like the theme. I just don't know how well they go together. But for 11 bucks, I don't care. I'll take it anyway. So, yep. I do listen to a lot of, like, not necessarily murder mystery, but, like, murder podcasts and true crime kind of stuff, YouTube videos a lot. Not necessarily documentaries, but I do I do get into the world of true crime and stuff. So this is very relevant to my personality. So we got our fashion girl there on the couch, um, planner flat lay, there's some washi there, that's fun, and pizza, the little box scene of the living room, Netflix on the TV, clothing flat lay because of course serial chiller. That's what the shirt says. Very funny. Stack of games. Hunt a killer. Mysterium. Clue. I think that's probably like unsolved case files or something. The only one of those I've heard is Clue. Got some chips. Phone case that says suspish. <laughs> um, oh, that looks really good. That like sweets charcuterie board. Mm. Delicious. And then, yeah, there's, of course, a podcast on the phone. And there's another one over here. Yep, and that's me for you. So there's that, and then you... I think this was the freebie. Um, so we get two more fashion girls on here. Ooh, a girl without hair. That's unusual. It's pretty cool. And then... Ooh, a completely different... Or maybe this the other side of the... Um, sweets charcuterie board. Love that, so I'll have to include that as well. And then alternate skin tone for the hand holding the phone. So love that. This is also new format. Uh, yep. So not only is there Netflix on that TV, but we also get YouTube on this TV. So that's more me. It's the YouTube one. Deco page. Yeah, they're both sides of the same charcuterie board. Solid. Patterned. We do get a tall box of the Netflix scene, but that's just the right half of the double box scene, so I'm just going to use the double box scene and alternate skin tone hair colors for that fashion girl. And then this box is Unsolved Mysteries Ultimate Collection. Is that like a show? Maybe. Maybe. And some wine. Bottom washing and everything else on that page. And that is it for Murder Mystery. 
So it is cute. Would not have necessarily purchased it if it weren't 11 bucks, but I'm glad I did. So that is everything from Apple Blossom Prints. Definitely will be keeping my eye on that shop, and hopefully there will be more to come. So, um, I think she is only on Etsy. So yep, that is it for this segment, and I am going to wrap up this haul here. I think it went on a little bit longer, but you're welcome. I actually only have one order of kits that I have right now for Black Friday. I've been keeping the School Prince order, um, School Prince Co. order for last. I don't know why. I just have. So that is the only thing that I currently have in my hands. I have one from Paper Candy Art coming in and within like a couple days maybe, or maybe today. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there will be a little bit more to haul. And then I have like one or two other orders that are on their way to me or have not shipped yet. So there will be a little bit to look out for, but yeah, things might be slowing down a little bit after this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.